what is good everyone networking here so today we got some more rogue priest action i'm going to be going over some games talking about my thoughts in the situation and kind of go over what i messed up on too right these are always good for me helps me learn um kind of see what my plays and misplays are so this is rogue priest versus rogue priest the priests go into a harry potter war we're getting the big dispels going back and forth i'm an open priest with the cheap shot rogue opens me a little late um, I guess it's fine on his part. He blinds my priest, and uh, the priest is completely clean. So I have a huge opportunity here. I'm just going to trinket the kidney because he can't peel me. I'm undead as well, so fear doesn't really do anything. I'm going to groat here, and a big wha-bam. Kapow! And that guy's just dead. So if a rogue uses blind, don't be afraid to um, definitely use your trinket on that kidney. If you guys have the priest completely clean, priests die, especially if your priest is helping you. So that is uh, not a misplay on his part. Probably just something he doesn't realize. All right, this game we got Hunter Priest. It's the boys, Bean, and Fusion. Uh, these guys are always in the arena. They're always in the two versus two, player versus player in the Burning Crusade. So this game, um, our goal is to definitely kill Priest. It always is to kill Priest. I don't like sitting on an Orc Hunter, uh, especially with how Um we go. I shadow step in there with the biggest shiv. No, I, I meant the cheap shot and Flare just cucked me. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I gouge, we get big dispels, we go into a big kidney. We're going to be hitting him super hard right here. Pew! Got the blind, right? So he trinkets it, into uh, gets around the corner, I get flared out. I don't kick because I'm a Mongo and I pressed Hemo. And that's not cool, guys. Make sure to use your kick ability. It's 2021. All right, so we got kidney. We got a, a DR kidney into a cheap shot. No flare. Big damn. Pumping this guy. Nobody can stop us. We're all the way up. And it looks like Fusion might go down. So I'm holding my kick now because he's a good player. And he dies. Look, he fakes himself to death. Like, that's what I'm talking about. I also missed my kick near the end, too. But let's not talk about that. And that's uh, Hunter Priest in a nutshell. All right, all right, all right. We got some rogue druid in the building, and this is a special rogue druid. This guy is a subscriber. So if you're in here, everyone, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. People be hitting me up in Discord, especially up close. We be talking, always talking strategies, always doing rogue-ish. So this guy is a legend. I always enjoy when he messages me and uh, we talk some strats. So uh, they get the sap on me. Because like I said, he's a subscriber. Subscribers get the saps. Big Bench does not get the saps. Just remember that. So I'm going to peel, right? So my Priest is getting dumpstered. I get a big cheap shot. Huge gouge. Because, guys, I'm not doing damage. I'm doing the CC. We get Trinket, which is super important. We get Evasion. All right. We're chilling for a second. So we're always fearing Rogue on cooldown, okay? We already got his Will of Forsaken. I get half blinded. It's all good. I'm not Trinketing it. And hopefully we hit a Fear soon. And then I will go for a Re-Stealth. Boom. Big blind on Druid. He's cloning. Get the big LOS. I got to gouge his kidney so Baylor lives. Because Baylor likes to die. Uh, it's probably because he's undead. Nothing personal from, you know, me saying that, Baylor. All right, so I get a restealth off this. I get a sap. I get pulled. I should have cheap shotted. Like I said, these are reviews for myself, what I could do better. So I get cloned on my kidney. Aiden V is playing this ish. Perfect. That's exactly what you do against Rogue Priest as Rogue Druid. He runs away, max distance with Innervate. I get a little exposy on the rogue, and I'm just trying to pump. So I'm going to have Baylor try to keep. Uh, I'm always screaming at him, get my fairy! And it usually takes like three tries because fairy fire is literally the most broken spell in the game. We'll talk about that a different time. But in this situation, Baylor grabs the eye, pulls the rogue. Super big play on Baylor's part. I'm going to get a big cheap shot on the rogue. I cloak the clone because I want pressure, guys. It's all about pressure. We're going to start burning. Uh, he gets cloned on the burn. Great clone, Aiden. And I'm, uh, I'm running again. So we're just going to keep going. We get a big fear on the rogue. I get dispelled. And I get a freaking vanish on top of him. And then I get pulled. You know, in this situation, kind of wasted my vanish. No cap. But we're chilling. I get a restealth. He gets a restealth. He gets a nice sap on my priest. Uh, priest still has trinket. I'm going to open rogue. Cheap shot. I have blind up for this druid. So he actually comes in. I'm going to hit him with a big B. The big B by Big Bench of Bay Lower. We got the blind. Now we got the bleed. I get blinded. I trinket it. We're going to get a big fear off this. I made sure to keep a rupture on the rogue so we can't get away with this last vanish. And he goes down. But up close, it was fun playing you, brother. All right, guys. This is going to be the last game of this video. So it's Rogue Mage Human 
for uh, humans, I like to stand on top of each other. We try to get a little Holy Nova action. The Rogue is insane, doesn't get pulled. Uh, props to that guy. Uh, their opener, they're gonna sap me and then open me. He breaks it with a Nova, huge. Baylor hits the biggest fear, uh, so I'm gonna go Mage. So in this situation, guys, even though I have a bleed on me, um, sapping the Rogue is a must. We need to get CC on him. I need to shrink it. My health doesn't matter. So I sap Rogue. Uh, now if he opens me again, I can just blind him. Boom, shrink it blind. That's full. Kick Mage on Frost. And we're just going to kill the Mage. So in this situation against humans, uh, their openers are really important. They botched it a little bit. And with that fear and shrink it, we were able to get a lot of pressure on the Mage and keep the Rogue off of me. And then we just killed the Mage. So that's kind of how that one played out. And GG's. Anyways, I just wanted to say I appreciate all of you seriously. Like and subscribe. It seriously helps my channel out tremendously. And I hope all of you guys have a great start of your week. Peace.